Hello again, everyone. My Money Gamer here, and I'm back with more Banjo Kazooie. And, um, my ultimate challenge, so to speak. Anyway, I moved ahead a little bit so that I would have a good cutoff point to come back to. And, um, yeah. These guys are dicks, so that's why I just killed them immediately. Well, we can go ahead and let's grab this uh, jiggy here. Like I said, they're kind of giving them away. The Talon Trot will let Kazumi tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazumi around with the control stick. Go practice. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. That's good. I think there is something under one of these, that's why I'm looking real quick. Ha, here it is. Eat them, eat them. <laughs> I love what they say. I can't even, like, pronounce it, but it's hilarious. Now, this is what I was talking about when I said, I cannot believe how slow you se seem to move in this game. This is because this is actually one of the fastest ways to get around the game. You've collected enough notes to break the first note door. <laughs> Screw that. I'm still gonna get I'm still gonna get a hundred of them because I need to. Oopsie. There we go. Now, you might, if you do, did ask, what is it that's different between the other versions you're talking about? Well, actually, the only other version that I know of right now is for the Xbox 360. And in that, the notes actually will disappear. And that's how you'll know which ones you've gathered up and which ones you haven't. So, I guess they decided that people hated having to go and recollect notes that they've already grabbed. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, um, actually I think there actually is one inside this area here. Get in here. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. God, you are a slow speaker. Now, I have actually tried to explore this area without that token. You need the fifth and final token to uh, make it in that area, which we do now have enough. So let's go ahead and go over here. I think there's only five in this stage anyway. Hey you, wake the hell up. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on Skull and press B to see Mighty Mumbo Magic. Now, you can do something special, but I'm gonna wait till later to do it. <laughs> Mumbo's Magic, free to change back. You come when ready. Turn my bit small, but not bad for a first spell. Mumbo, practice needed. He said he's the best uh, shaman ever, and yet he says he needs practice. That's funny. Now, as a termite, you can't do any damage to anything, so be careful. 
then you will actually take damage from things, so, yeah. Hey! Where did you get those shorts? I want them. <laughs> yeah. The other one's actually kind of funny, too. Oh, I hate this. Ouch. It's actually really difficult to get up this. There you go. Okay, so give me that cool backpack or else. <laughs> and then make sure that... Yeah, it's still going. Okay, good. Okay, I'm taking a huge risk here, but I'm going to take care of this real quick. <laughs> there we go. Oh, crap. I also have another risk going right now. Boom. There. Taken care of. Now what's funny is they don't actually like s seek you out though, they don't like try to kill you, try to kill you. Because you look enough like I guess one of them that they don't seem to care. But um, it is kind of funny that um, you can find yourself in a bit of trouble. Oh my gosh, I forgot how hard this is. Especially with the control scheme I now have. It was actually a lot easier um, back in the day when I first played the game because I had a controller that was um, brand new, so it still had like that crappy um, joystick that eventually breaks because it wears itself down. But um, still, I was able to do this a lot easier. Oh man, this is actually going to be a lot of fun, because you guys are going to watch me fail a whole bunch. They don't say anything else to you really important if you have to ask yourself. Like after the shorts thing, they don't really say much. Now be careful when you come out here, because it's very easy to fall off. Grab that uh, one up. Then come up here. I can't take fall damage, that's why I did that. I'm trying to remember where the notes are. Ah, the other hill. That's right. Oh, but here's a problem. If you fall into water when you're the termite, you won't drown, but you'll sink straight to the bottom. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not good. Okay, listen here, you fuckwit. You screwed me up. Wait a minute, I thought I already got those. Huh, I guess not. Wait a minute, that can't be right. I had to have already got them. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, you can climb up this wall as a termite, surprisingly. And so you just want to quickly climb your way up here and grab this. Maybe I didn't jump into the water. I don't actually remember. <laughs> ah, there's the last and final puzzle piece, too. Yeah, 
Now, sadly, since I'm the uh, termite, you don't get the cute little dancing animation that you get after getting all of them. Where um, Banjo kind of does this like little jig and then like bows uh, like back and forth. And boom! You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. However, if you come back to this world, those damn hundred notes will be back. So, yes. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, there is actually something I need to do since I forgot to do it. But you do need this ability for something. F off, stupid fool. No one likes you. So yeah, I can't wait to see what this, uh, how this is received, because, like I said, <coughs> I'm sure people who are terrible at games <laughs> tend to get some very funny comments and stuff. But you might, you might actually find, like, you might actually call me out for being a liar at some point, because I'm not... Like, 100% terrible at this game, because I do remember some of the, you know, stuff in this. Like, I remember a lot of the levels, but I don't remember, um, where, like, all the notes are and stuff like that. So that's one of the main things. See, me and my brother used to think that you could, like, defeat him fully when you can. And so we would always, like, you know, attack him more than we needed to, type thing. Funny thing, that, that is. There we go. Oh, by the way, if you do talk to Bottles again while he's inside the, uh, Mohel, he'll just repeat what he said before. He won't give you more eggs. He's not stupid. There we go. Consider that like the secret puzzle piece of the world that you get in like um, Super Mario 64. Now I'm going to be comparing a lot of the aspects of this game to that game. Not because they are completely similar, but because um, the fact that I just played that recently. And because um, I think I was playing it at the same time as this game whenever I originally played this as well, which is actually kind of funny. Change me back. Grunty's magic stops you from taking the notes off the world, but the hundred you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get a hundred in each world, as they are needed to open the note doors. Now, that line right there is what I'm talking about. If you come back to the stage, they will all be back. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. See, like, basically, like, this one right there. <laughs> Mumbo magic get weak, animal turn back, or magic go. That's fine. Magic all gone, must go back to bear and burn. Now. <laughs> 
Why in the world would you go back? <laughs> anyway, use the talent trot to get up here. And you find your first note door. It says it needs 50, right? Well, you talk to uh, bottles over here. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, jam jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. <coughs> the combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to bring Grunt Great Grunty's music. Hmm. Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. <laughs> wow. And there's that dance I talked about. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Oh god. Hello there, young ones. I'm Gruntilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. <laughs> she also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck! <laughs> and she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for this, you need, um, I think it's two. So let's go ahead and do that. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Hey Banjo, you're looking low. You <laughs> basically just say something like, it must be hard being so dumb, basically. <laughs> I'm not gonna read everything she says. Let's see, was there anything else in this room? Oh yeah, something down here. <laughs> You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Okay. <laughs> I have forgotten that before, so that's why I'm coming here and doing it now, because it will be useful later. Oh, and there's a mumbo token back here, so that's another good reason to come down here. I can't use to this music because it will play almost the entire freaking game, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the level we opened up is down there, so let's go ahead and go down there. to find. And my favorite character of all time. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
is possible to escape Snacker kind of easily, but he is kind of terrifying. These enemies you have to pound to get um, them killed in one move. <laughs> ah, so let's go talk to this creature over here. Hey, this Nipper's Peach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, crustacean brain. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers, Clippy. Oh yeah? Just try it, shellhead. Right, you hurt Nipper. Makes me mad. Oof. Take that, big mouth bird. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's because I decided to try to show off. <laughs> This is kind of funny. It shows that there's like apparently like cracks in the shell, but if you look outside, there aren't any. So I love how they actually just were like, "Ah, what the hell? Let's add that one on the inside." And for some reason, there's crabs in here too. Oops! I actually grabbed the puzzle piece. That's why. I was like, "Why the fuck did I stop?" <laughs> there you go. Now, another way you can kill them is to roll into them and then roll into them another time if you don't want to do it that way. And yes, I did almost die there, I know. <laughs> B, I'm a red feather. I help Kazuri fly when she knows how. Now, regrettably, there actually is notes in these trees. They're not very easy to get. Because chances are you'll fall off, like I always do whenever I get one. <laughs> There's the next one. Now, even though I know what to do with most of the uh, jiggies in this area, I will go talk to this character to find out what to do with one of them. Because I just love his voice. And the fact that he is a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. <laughs> but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? <laughs> sure, I'll find it for you. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> it's just burps. Why they chose to use that, I don't know. Maybe like a fat joke? I don't know. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to uh, come in here and grab this. I be Blubber's treasure! He can bulk him. He can bulk him. Yeah, you notice that the music kind of changes a little bit when you're underwater. Cool fact. Anyway, I don't want to accidentally trigger giving him the goal, so that's why I run over here real quick. I like to get both of them at the same time before I give it to him. It's just more fun that way. He does say something, though, if you give him one. He'll say something like, uh, yes, that's one piece, but there's one more. 
So that's why I'm just like, bleh, whatever, let's just get the other one. <laughs> da -da. You don't really lose air that fast, so I mean, it's not like I really need to worry about it, but I do. God damn it! <laughs> Turn your badass around and get back in there. Thank you. That is actually a weird thing that happens in this game, is you'll actually slip and fall. <laughs> Here's your gold back. Fit where you to hand it to him. Me treasure, thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spin, spin, spin. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, bog uh, eyes. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Mm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember that Beaky can only carry 50 of them. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. No, I will not be just constantly singing the whole time. Oh yeah, see that island out there? That's another interesting thing I one time went to explore at and did not do. Uh -huh. 
Just think you had to pound it, but you don't. Thank you. To avoid getting hurt, that's how you can get in here, by the way. <laughs> if you try to just jump in, you'll get hurt by the team. Uh, this enemy here, if it hits you, will actually steal your items. So you want to kill it, if possible. These guys' names are, but they're basically mimics. <laughs> you have to call them anything. Don't fall into the water here, it's very easy to die if you do. Because, of course, when you're up, whenever shit, you're in the water, this guy comes after you and um, makes your life hell. That is why they put these uh, crates here. I do love the music they chose, though. There's like a secret along the walls that like shows you something important, and it's actually for a uh, solution to something. Um, I'm gonna give you something to eat after this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a pause break here. When I come back, we will explore the rest of this area. Till then, bye.